So we're here at Marriott's Grand Vista in Orlando, Florida, and we're staying in a two-bedroom lock-off villa. Are you considering this place for your next stay, and you want to know what to expect? Well, stick around. I'm going to show you our villa right after this. Hello and welcome to Destination Timeshare. I'm Jeremy, and before we take a look at our villa here, 7209 here in building 97 at Marriott's Grand Vista, I just want to let you know, on this channel, I like to provide my knowledge, tips and advice to help you get the most from your timeshare ownership. So if that's the kind of stuff you want to see, be sure to subscribe down below, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos. So let's head on inside here, we're going to take a look at our villa here a two bedroom lock off at Grand Vista. As we head into the villa here, the first thing we're gonna check out is the kitchen. Now keep in mind, each section of the resort does have a little bit different setup. We're gonna notice here that our laundry is kind of set up off the side here of the kitchen in just a moment. But keep that in mind, your villa may not look exactly like this. This was in building 97 over in the club village section. So just keep that in mind. Not every villa is going to look the same, but of course, this kitchen here has your full set of appliances, dishwasher, microwave, refrigerator, and a full range and oven as well. You also have your full set of small appliances, everything you need, pots, pans, dishware, glassware, cutlery, baking dishes as well. So definitely a great setup here. They do deck out these villas with all that you would need to get you through the week to cook up some great meals on your vacation. All right, now we're just gonna take a quick look at the in-room laundry. And like I mentioned, this is just off the back of the kitchen and kind of a utility room door that opens up off the kitchen to the in-room laundry here. And uh, this is a little bit of a disappointment. We don't really like the uh, laundry being right kind of in the middle of the kitchen. Somebody coming in here to do laundry is gonna be in the way of somebody that's working in the kitchen. So just a bit of a disappointment here, but it is great to have in-room laundry, of course, in a timeshare. That's one of the best things about staying in timeshares in room laundry. All right, before we head in and take a look at the living room and dining room area here of this two bedroom lock off villa at Marriott's Grand Vista, we're gonna head over and take a look at the guest bedroom side, which is actually the studio side of this lock off. You do have a small kitchenette with dinnerware and silverware for two people. So pretty good little setup here. Nice to have this little kitchenette with a microwave and a small refrigerator as well. Definitely handy to have in the studio. Next, we're gonna head in and take a look at the bathroom here, the guest bathroom in the studio side of the lock-off. You do have a single vanity, toilet, and a tub with shower. All right, now let's head into the living and sleeping area of the studio side of the two bedroom lock off, the guest bedroom you could say. It does have a king size bed, a couple of nightstands here as well. And it also has a fairly big closet where you're gonna find your iron, ironing board, an in-room safe, as well as extra bedding for the pull out sofa. That sofa bed over there does pull out into a queen size bed. We also do have a small dining area over here, just two chairs and a small table. There is also a chest of drawers kind of built in here with a large television set atop. Now something to keep in mind, 
we notice that the storage here in these chests of drawers isn't very good. We're gonna notice that same thing kind of over in the master bedroom as well. The storage here is kind of lacking in these villas, in these units at Marriott's Grand Vista here, at least for unpacking any clothes and putting them away while you're on your stay. Next, let's head outside and take a look at the balcony, the patio area, I guess you could call it, here of this studio lock-off side of the two bedroom unit here at Marriott's Grand Vista. Just two chairs and a small table. This balcony is not screened in, so keep that in mind. I don't believe any of the balconies of the studio side of the two bedroom lock-offs are screened. But uh, just not too bad of a view here. We had a nice view down to the pool. All right, now let's head back over and we're gonna take a look at the main dining room and living area of this two bedroom lock-off. And the one thing we're gonna notice here is kind of a small kind of pantry cupboard that they've put in place here because there is no proper pantry, no dedicated pantry here in these villas, at least in this section. Like I said, some of the other sections here at Grand Vista are set up differently and some of them actually do have a pretty big pantry area but this one just has kind of this small little cupboard here it is actually though pretty handy you do have a nice large dining room table four chairs as well as a bench across the back and there's also two stools there that kind of push up to the bar area of the kitchen now heading into the living area you do have a large sofa pulls out into a queen size sleeper sofa bed and a nice coffee table a side table and two chairs there as well. Also a large TV stand with a large television up on top. All right, it's now time to head into the master bedroom. Full king size bed here, as well as a nightstand. And on the other side, you're gonna see what we love most about many timeshare units, and that is having a desk in the villa. Great place to set up shop if you're gonna be working remote. The master bedroom here also has a built-in chest of drawers. And like I mentioned, not a whole lot of storage in there. Like I said, pretty lacking here in this villa, but there is also a television atop that chest of drawers as well. Beside the television, you're gonna find a closet here in the master bedroom with another in-room safe, plenty of hangers, laundry basket, and another iron and ironing board. The reason this unit has two irons, two ironing boards, and two in-room safes is because I mentioned it is a lock-off villa. So you can actually have two completely independent families occupying each side of the villa with no access between the two. So obviously if two separate parties are staying in each side, both of them do need to have their own in-room safe and iron and ironing board. Now let's start to take a look at the master bathroom. Now just off the master bedroom here, you do have a large jetted tub as well as kind of a small makeup area here, no sink and kind of a countertop there. But uh, yeah, no real sink here out in the bedroom area of this master bath. Now, as we head into the main bathroom area, you're gonna notice a double vanity, large mirror, toiletries, plenty of towels, and of course your toilet, as well as a fairly decent sized shower. Okay, so I'm now out here on our patio here in the master side of the two bedroom villa. Just four chairs and a table out here. There is also a ceiling fan up above there as well. So just something to kind of keep it a little bit cool here, probably in those hot, humid summer days. Now our balcony here, our patio, does have a screen on it. So that does help keep out the bugs, but do keep in mind that the balconies, not all of them, are screened in. In fact, the one over there on the studio side, it does not have a screen. So keep that in mind that not all of the balconies here at Grand Vista are screened in. So if you want one that is screened in, you may want to make that specific villa request. But it's a great thing ours is, keeps out those bugs. So there you have it, the two bedroom villa here at Marriott's Grand Vista in Orlando, Florida. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help out these videos. And if you want to see more videos about Timeshare, check out the description box below. 
for another video about Marriott's Grand Vista. Check out this one right up here and YouTube. They think you'll like that one down there. Be sure to subscribe. You can do so by clicking on my picture right here. Hit that notification bell. And until next time, let's make your next destination a timeshare.